A Saanich woman is packing her bags and is about to fulfill a lifelong dream. Dinner with the Queen. Her name is on an exclusive guest list to mingle with royalty at Windsor Castle next month. It is a gift from her son, who was the first Canadian to work for the royal family and to live inside Buckingham Palace. As CTV's Andrew Johnson shows us tonight, she is bringing the royal household a taste of Victoria in high demand. Here is my ticket. Lorraine Campbell is invited to Windsor Castle. She's been waiting her whole life to hear those words since she was a little girl growing up in Comox. I had a picture of Princess Margaret and Princess Elizabeth at the end of my bed. Oh, that goes very well with your outfit. Today, Lorraine semi-retired, helping seniors at Rose Manor try on Halloween costumes. Next month, she'll be dressing up for royalty. I'm wearing a nice black, long black velvet evening gown, and I'm all set to go. She's attending an exclusive dinner for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee in St. George's Hall. Lorraine's son, Corey, worked for the royal family for years. He's giving up his seat at the table for his mom. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so, and I know my mom is just is mad about the royal, so I said, well, uh, she, she can go. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was so wonderful. It was just like a dream come true. <laughs> Thanks to her son's royal connections, Lorraine's come close before, including a thrilling pre-wedding glimpse of Kate Middleton. She was sitting up so straight, so beautiful, and she looked right at us. Lorraine has already started packing for her big trip. She flies out on Monday, but she says there is one more thing she absolutely must do before she goes, and that's make a very important purchase at Roger's Chocolates. I have to buy some of these famous Roger's cream chocolates. As a thank you, she's bringing along a treat for Paul, the Queen's right-hand man. And I know that those Roger's chocolates were always, always a very, very high, high priority there in the palace if anybody could get them. Now, Lorraine only has to worry about one more thing, preparing for that magical moment when she comes face to face with Her Majesty. She's so pretty and she has the most blue eyes, the bluest eyes. I'd like to tell her what an honor it was for me to attend this dinner and to be in her home, and uh, that I've uh, admired her for many, many years. We'll let you know how it all turns out. Andrew Johnson, CTV News, Victoria.